Good evening. Welcome to the first installment of Cooking with Metal. And the first song we are going to be doing on the very first installment is... Da -da -da -da, Event Sevenfold. The Wicked End. Anyway, for today's installment, we are going to make... Fried Chicken. I love me some fried chicken. Anyway, first thing we're going to do, which is really easy to make, you get your... Big piece of chicken. You gotta sit there, you look at it, trim off all this white stuff here, all this there fat. Not good to eat. Flavorful, not good for you. Anyway, I put in a couple of pieces already. Let me trim off the excess fat. You, I put in a couple pieces already, and it came out like this. Perfectly brown, crispy chicken. It's amazing what you can do. I'm gonna sit there, trim it all. And it's pretty good that we picked Event Sevenfold first because since it's uh, been about a year or so since the Rev died. Very sad. Rev was the drummer for people who don't listen to Event Sevenfold. He was the drummer. Amazing drummer. And he passed away. Very sad. Here's what we're gonna do. Big piece of chicken. We're gonna sit there and we're gonna cut it in half. Uh, well, I think it's done. Next, if you got some bigger pieces, probably the edge here, like right in the front, we're gonna sit there and cut it in half again. If you want some bigger pieces, you leave it whole. You want the biggest piece of chicken in your family, you leave the whole thing whole. This is it. This right here is home seasoning. Home seasoning. It consists of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Garlic powder. Two seconds. I already threw a piece in there just to show you how it is. You want to take a close up on this. Almost done, but as you've seen that it's poured right into the chicken skin. Nice and white, almost done. First, what it calls for is to dip the chicken in the home seasoning. Get a nice even coat on there. Next, we're going to roll it around in this here egg. Doesn't matter if you get it on your hands, cooking ain't supposed to be for needy people. Dirty, dirty jaw. And then, even though it seems kind of weird, you roll it around the flour. Get a nice coat, just like your home seasoning. If you get some finger marks in there, it's fine. Don't have to worry about it. That's how it's made. Take a piece of chicken. Carefully, don't splash it, because then you're going to burn yourself. Drop it in the oil. You'll see that it starts fizzing, and it disappears completely. Once the chicken is some, some of the way done, it'll go to uh, the top. Nice, crispy brown. Now the rest of this here, I'm just going to do the same exact thing. Alright, I'm actually doing this first installment for my senior project. I got to do one for school, and I go to Go Tech for Culinary Arts, and I got to do one for each, so I thought why not just combine them? It's a lot easier that way anyway. So, I decided to do how different countries use chicken, different chicken dishes for different countries, and since this is America, I'm going to make fried chicken. Southern fried chicken, just so we know it's in America, got to be from the South. Take a piece. Uh, hot. That's disgusting. Yeah, again, big piece. Make sure you trimmed off some of the fat. It all depends. Like I said, it's flavorful. It'll keep a hold of the uh, house seasoning, which we're almost low on. And I put this is just plain egg. The house seasoning I already told you. The flour is actually flour and pepper. Flour and pepper. It's really. It's actually fairly good. I had it before, but I used frozen chicken. It turned out very black. 
nothing wrong with it. I like my stuff burnt, but not that burnt. This stuff is actually looking really well. So they roll it around. I used up all the rest of the house seasoning. It didn't coat very well, but it's the final piece of the chicken anyway. So only a couple people are eating it. Put it in there. Again, fingerprints, not a lot of flour, it's fine, it doesn't matter. The only thing is that you need to sit there and wash your hands. Chicken raw can cause salmonella. Cross contamination is not good. Obviously, no one wants to get sick when they eat. Mm, they never come back to your restaurant. Alrighty then, final piece of chicken. I'm going to do 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 do. Take this, wash off the hands here. Just gonna dust them off. You always want to wash your hands when you're doing chicken, no matter what it is. I'm just dusting them off because I'm washing them later. I got stuff to do here. Alrighty. I'm gonna sit here and try and find our extra crispy done piece of chicken. And when I mean extra crispy done, I mean extra crispy done. It's a lot darker than the other ones that we saw earlier. Make sure you don't get a bunch of grease on here. Oil. And then, whoop, right in the bowl with all the other pieces of chicken. You put the paper towel on there so the grease drains down there. Instead of stays on the chicken, it's disgusting to have greasy chicken. Sit there and take them out, look at them. Even better than the last one, white. Not done on the inside. Almost. Boom. Almost done. See, it's not very long. It's extremely easy. And it's really fun when it makes the bubbly sound. I like when it bubbles. <laughs> so, like I said, it's cooking with metal. And we're going to sit there, we're going to do metal music. If you have any kind of uh, comp or any kind of uh, requests, recipes, or music or something, you can comment on the comment bar down there. And I'm going to finish up this here chicken. And I'm going to try and figure out something else to do for next time. Alright? Peace!